What is up my dudes, Chi Bastard talking to ya, and in today's video I'll review the Samsung C24RG50 FQU for you to know whether this monitor is the one you're looking for so you don't end up like this beginner. Beginners! I've been using this monitor for around 3 months and I can tell you that it has every feature a monitor under $160 needs to have. I bought it for 130 euros in a local marketplace with 1 year manufacturer warranty left and it didn't disappoint me. Now for the unboxing. Look at that. Oh. The monitor came in a box with some throwing discs, a power cable, HDMI cable, and a stand. Kicking it straight to a quick specs overview. It is a curved 24 inch monitor with a VA panel, 4 millisecond response time, 1920 by 1080 resolution, 144Hz refresh rate, 250 nit brightness, and a support for AMD FreeSync. Next up is the design of this monitor, which looks like the CJG5 or every modern gaming focused Samsung monitor, but after 2008's financial crisis reforms. <laughs> Because the bezels on this monitor are kinda thick by today's standards, at least they are integrated smoothly into the body of the monitor, but still not as smooth as my boy Juan over here. By the way, in order for you to better understand the design, here's a banana for a scale. Moving on, the stand. It looks really sleek to my eyes and the fact that it sits really stable on the table is also very nice. But that's pretty much it. No adjustability apart from tilting it vertically, which is sad. <laughs> Speaking about things not located vertically, let's move on to the ports. It has an aux port, a display port and two HDMI's, just in case you want to watch Discovery Channel while gaming at 4am. On how it's made white people and before i talk about the screen the ui after trying to adjust the colors awesome. in the school side i found i realized that this monitor lacks color settings which i found kind of annoying but apart from that the ui is very smooth and nice being controlled by this nipple being located behind the monitor you need to get used to it if you want to change anything in the ui unless you have prior experience with similar objects anyways it is time for the most important part of every monitor the screen I found the colors to be very pleasing and that made me more than happy. Of course, it definitely doesn't do the job as good as an IPS panel with colors, but it is really close. Brightness on this monitor is nothing out of the ordinary, but bright enough to see something while you're being directly pointed with a flashlight in your eyes. The viewing angles though were disappointing. Even if you move slightly in any direction, the colors will try to shift away and run from you, just like any girl in my area. Perhaps that's because of my cooking habits? Hey, it actually works! But we leave that to scientists to find out. Anti-glare is great, can't see any reflections and the light is heavily suppressed. Now ghosting is a part of this monitor I can't quite understand. It seems like there's plenty of it, but it doesn't bother me as much for some reason and after I tried fiddling with settings a bit, the result was the same. Finally, the refresh rate. Nothing can beat 144Hz in my opinion and 60Hz monitors look embarrassing in comparison, unless you're a flying duck. Oh, to the moon! So, how's it in gaming, you might ask? Well, while playing esports games like CSGO, everything felt good. And despite that slight ghosting, which works out to be as an unwanted motion blur, everything is smooth. AAA games also look beautiful, and if you can pair it with a more powerful PC, 144Hz and these colors will even make your fish go for a walk. <laughs> 
And to conclude everything, here are the pros and cons of this monitor. Let's start with the cons. So it has bad viewing angles, UI lacks options, 24 inches might be too small but that's more of a personal preference, bigger than expected bezels and no visa compatibility. But despite the negatives, it also has some nice pros. It is really cheap, the UI is intuitive, the stand is really stable and it has 144Hz refresh rate. Basically, I can recommend this monitor as a great option to those on a budget wanting a good 144Hz monitor. Subscribe to get some soda. Man, I really need some soda. And don't forget to stay cheap, my dudes. Cheap bastard out. Oh, Santa. Oh,